Well, we have just learned from a White House official that Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius is resigning as a secretary, that she will be leaving the Obama administration. As you know, she has been very much embattled over the last several months, ever since the rollout of Obamacare, specifically uh, marred by the very poor rollout of the website healthcare.gov in October. Well, as you do know, uh, that website came to its six-month enrollment process at the end of March. Uh, there had been some question over the last several months about sort of uh, what personnel changes might be made. Many Republicans had called for Kathleen Sebelius to resign, and we now understand that she is indeed resigning, according to a White House official. We're also told, Wolf, uh, by that official that she is going to be replaced uh, by Sylvia Burwell, who is the OMB uh, chief, the head of the Office of Management and Budget. Uh, so that coming to us just now from the White House that embattled Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius indeed leaving the Obama administration. But she's leaving at a relatively high note uh, for That's as far right. as the healthcare.gov is concerned. What not just 7 million today, they've announced it's gone up to 7.5. Seven and a half million people have actually signed up for Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, so that's a pretty positive that's note, right. right? That's right, and that's a very important point that you make. A White House official, uh, or we've learning today that even just since uh, that 7.1 million benchmark, which was really good news for the White House, saying that 7.1 million people had signed up through that six-month process, which really was uh, the goal, Wolf, that when they were looking at sort of congressional estimates, we had heard that just uh, recently here there were 400,000 more Signups. So that was a feeling that uh, even since President Obama had addressed that 7.1 million uh, mark, that things had really, I guess, the, the profile of the program had even been raised. There had been more interest. And certainly that was something that the White House looked on uh, as very positively. I uh, and we're, and we're also understanding that uh, I should be clarify Burwell is going to be nominated. Obviously, this is a position that will have to be confirmed by the Senate, but that's going to be President Obama's pick uh, to replace Kathleen Sebelius. And there's still a few more days left there until the 15th of the month. Uh, the uh, folks who tried to get on couldn't get on. They still have a few more days. So that seven and a half million number, presumably over the next few days, uh, Brianna is going to go up. Yeah, that's the expectation. And then there's always this issue, Wolf, of people who have signed up versus people who have com completed the process, right, who have paid their premium and are completely enrolled uh, at this point. But, yeah, no, this is certainly a, a good marker for the Obama administration. But this has been a very difficult, I would say, six months uh, or so for Kathleen Sebelius, both in trying to gear up. Uh, for the rollout of Obamacare and just dealing with what has been uh, it, politically uh, a nightmare for the Obama administration, even though recently the tide has turned. Uh, of course, this is going to be, you know, uh, this is going to be an issue that is very much political fodder in, in this uh, election year.